Welcome back to Project Zomboid. Uh, if you've been watching this on YouTube, then you're aware of what just happened to my lake house save. Uh, I used to live over here at this building, but as you can see, as I've marked on my map, the house burned down. I'm still not sure exactly what caused it, though I've got a pretty good guess that it was me leaving the stove on. We've talked about that before, my tendency to um, leave the stove on. Even though I've been pretty paranoid about it, apparently I must have left it on and just... Basically, I was working in the garage, and I came in and found half of the house already burned in a bunch of fires. I learned how to use a fire extinguisher at the very last second, put the fire out, but I had lost almost everything. Anything that was stored in furniture was gone. Luckily, I had kept a few of my things, a lot of my things in the garage, and a few of my things in mobile containers. Actually, let me turn these lights on here. Mobile containers, like these duffel bags. Um, and so anything that was stored that way... I got to retain, I loaded them up in all four of my cars, and I brought them out here to Smokey's Saloon. And it turns out the Smokey's Saloon is actually a better base than the Lake House, so I'm actually considering this kind of fortuitous. I was so overprepared at the Lake House, like I had so much food, it was kind of silly. M my character's main risk was getting bored. But now that I've lost nearly all of my food um, and moved to a better base, I'm actually a little bit more, my, my interest in this save is actually a little bit invigorated. So now I'm closer to the lake, I'm closer to my traps, and I've made some modifications. So. Let me step outside real quick to show you the shape of this place. So, oh, it's okay. It's nighttime, so you can't see it very well. But uh, this is a large restaurant that's got an apartment for the owner up above. So originally, this apartment and the main restaurant were disconnected from each other. You access them through different doors. But I dismantled this door in order to get in, replaced it with my own. And then I came up in here used a sledgehammer, which I had retained in my garage, bashed through this wall, and opened up this whole area, which, you know, because it's so dark. In fact, let me just put my character to sleep. So that we can wake up in the morning and actually see this place clearly. So we'll set an alarm so we don't sleep too late. Oh no, we're getting hungry. Oh no, we're getting thirsty. Oh no, someone's car backfired or something. Uh, okay, so let me go and eat. Wait, oh, 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 whatever. I'm wor I'll worry about food later. I'm going to drink something, though. Can I drink something? Drink. Yes, drink. And let's fill my empty water bottle. My empty wine bottle. All right. Anyway. I can probably turn the lights off now, actually. Doink. Um, so I cut through... And I'm now I'm using the whole like pool hall up here that was originally not connected to that apartment. I'm using this for storage. I've got all my arsenal over here. I've got uh, all of my materials and tools over here. And then down here, I've got this fancy kitchen. So originally I thought this fancy kitchen was going to be a massive amenity for me. I could like set up the generator outside and, you know, and, and like have a bunch of fridges and a bunch of stoves. But then I looked at the power cost of running this massive uh, kitchen, and I realized I was tripling the rate at which I was going through gasoline. And I was like, that's that's not a good idea. So originally, I actually had my um, I had my generator out here, and it was powering, you know, I, I think the generator will power an entire building's worth of stuff no matter where you put it, but I had it out there, um, and it was powering this place, and this place had these, mass these two massive industrial fridges over here. But they were just so costly to power, and unfortunately... As far as I know, fridges do not have off switches. If you've got a fridge in the building, it is definitely being run by your generator. And so I actually got my like um, my welding mask and my propane torch out, and I took apart the fridges so that they wouldn't be costing power, because you apparently can't unplug them. Um, so I dismantled them, and now I'm just using the fridge in my apartment, which is good, because now it'll last, like the generator and the gasoline will last three times as long. So that's great. And so now, actually, that I'm you know not thinking of the generator as powering that industrial kitchen, I've got the generator out here. It's here, uh, just outside my little balcony. And similarly, I've got my grill out here, too. So I can grill outside and, and everything. I don't need to expose myself to danger from zombies in order to do outside stuff. So this is really my favorite base I've had so far. It's not as huge and indefensible as a motel without with all of that sheer extra space that the motel has um it's it's nice it's it's just tight enough to hold everything i need but not require a lot more maintenance than that so the coalition says welcome to project zomboid cribs basically yeah i'm really proud of this base uh i got a garden gnome 
inside. I've got a rubber duck watching over me from above. I, I've really, I've really put some time. Uh, I've got my pants collection over here. I mean, you know, what doesn't this place have? Uh, but this is not the saver we actually play. So I'm going to quit. I'll come back to this on my own time. But we've got another problem to solve because right after the last episode that we did uh, with our usual save, something bad happened. I, I jumped into the game to try to just reorganize things at my base a little bit. And I found out that the power had gone out. So we're going to rejoin Shonda's game. And we've lost power. So, you know, I've been on this ongoing quest for multiple episodes to try to find a generator, knowing that eventually my fridge was going to go out and I was going to want it if I wanted to retain all that frozen food that I've been collecting. But unfortunately, as you can see, this text is not blue. Uh, most of the food is still fresh. Some of it has already gone stale. I think that if we're going to preserve any of this food, we are going to have to do something about that real, real fast. <coughs> so, I'm going to go on one final last-ditch quest for a generator. And if we can find a generator, then cool, maybe we can preserve some of the food that we've been collecting. And it's entirely possible, let me make sure that my alarm is set to a decent time, um, it's entirely possible that we could still, I mean, even if we do lose the food that's in the fridge right now, it's valuable to have a fridge because if you are farming... Uh, I'm going to set this to 8 o'clock. Uh, if you're farming, you can you can preserve your produce a lot longer if you have a fridge. So finding a satchel... Sorry, satchel? Sorry, I just saw the word satchel. Finding a generator is still valuable even if I lose all the frozen food or refrigerated food that I have right now. It's still fine, but I would still love to find one. Um, I'm trying to remember, though. I think, yeah, at the end of two episodes ago, I did find the manual for a generator. So I can use one. I, I'm not going to take the time to cook. Let's see, what can I eat real fast? Let's just eat a bunch of cereal. Cereal is very, very filling. It gives you minus 40 hunger, which is just crazy for food you don't have to cook. Yeah, that completely filled me up. I'm going to grab some snacks to take with me, but we're going to get on the road right now and start looking for a generator. Oh, let me make sure. So I've got I've got an axe, I've got a hammer. I think I'm ready for big zombie fights because that's one of the things that was slowing me down is the fact that the places with generators are pretty well defended by zombies. Um so I've been imagining outbuildings are the place to go. So we've got this unexplored territory in Mark Ridge over here that has outbuildings in it. I think I might have already looked in this one, but let's start... Well, actually, hmm, what is the best place to start? Let's start... Let's actually go around the perimeter where there might be fewer zombies. Let's hit this one first, then this one, then this one. Let's, let, let's do an orbit around, and then maybe we'll come up the middle and look at these other ones and see if we can find a generator fast enough to make a difference to our fortunes. So wait, wait, where's the best way to get them on that outer... I guess, okay, down this way and that way and then down. Okay, cool. Let's go. Uh, Malator asks if I compost. Uh, so there is a, a compost, like, service, basically, in my town where, like, we get, like, you know, how you often have a... Um, basically, we can put compost in our yard waste bin. There's a special yard waste bin that get, gets picked up by Recology, and uh, they... And they let you put, like, food waste in there. So, yeah, we do compost in the sense that we, you know, have a, a, a segment of our trash that is labeled as compost. We don't do composting ourselves. We have looked into it because, we, because you know, my wife does like to garden, though she doesn't have a lot of time to garden. Um, and so we, we have considered composting, you know, as part of, like, a, a gardening effort. But we haven't really done it. Okay, nobody behind me, right? Okay, this looks like this shed might have a metal door. And if that's the case, then without a sledgehammer or the skill to use a... Um, I don't know if it takes metalworking skill or if, or if anybody 
like, I don't know what the first thing, if you want to learn metalworking from scratch, I don't know what your first activity is. Because I have been doing a lot of experimentation with uh, mechanics. My character in that other save I was showing you has been trying to learn mechanics to maintain her vehicles. Um, and so that's been a lot of changing tires and a lot of changing headlights. Because those are the ones that I can handle without a lot of skill. I'm trying to build up my skill so I can change out the hood of a vehicle because a couple of zombie collisions have actually done serious damage to my hood. And it's about to ex you know, go away. Oh good, there's a window in the back. And there's a generator! Seriously, what is with this game? Like, Shonda is the luckiest character in the world. Whenever something is absolutely necessary, Shonda gets it. Okay, wait. Oh, okay. Let's deal with this zombie. Okay, nobody else? Nobody else nearby? Okay, great. Did I already remove the glass? Uh, it doesn't say remove glass. Climb through. Okay, so yes, yes, take generator. Oh, I can't believe this. Okay, and then lug wrench, I mean pipe wrench, sure, why not? But, by the way, notice the generator does not actually appear in my inventory. Holding a generator, it's kind of like holding a corpse. It's like... Or is it? Wait, why isn't it in my... I thought I, I thought I could load it in the back of the vehicle. Can't I? Can't I do that? Huh. Am I just missing something? Oh, yeah. So I guess it's like holding a corpse. Is it just a special state that you're in when you're lugging a generator? Oh, it's equipped. That's what's going on. Thank you. I always I always miss that. Thank you so much. Yes, of course it's equipped. Because when you pick it up, it's equipped. So does that mean that a corpse is also equipped? I'm going I'm to grab a corpse. Yes, a corpse is equipped. Okay. I actually had not realized that that's how that worked. Okay, cool. Well, now we understand that. Let's drive this generator home. And I believe I've already read the magazine. So I think I can hook it up. I'm going to have some stale food, which my... What's my cooking skill like? My cooking skill is not very well developed yet, but that's fine. Um, as my cooking skill improves, I believe that putting, sta like putting stale ingredients in a stew... At first, I think that has an unhappiness effect, but I think that as you develop your cooking skill, you get better at reducing the unhappiness effect of using stale ingredients in stews. Um, and also, if you're making a stew, you can season things. So even if it does originally have an unhappiness effect, you can mitigate that with seasoning. So if I can get this generator hooked up at my house, I should be able... Let's grab the generator, stick it in my... Okay, I can't stick it in the duffel bag. I just gotta lug it. I should be able to basically preserve all the food that I've got. Um, so let's... Unfortunately, I can't place a generator. I can only drop a generator at my feet. So let's connect the generator. But I think the generator does not have gas in it to start. But I think by default, most generators do not have gas in them. Let me double check that that's true. Yeah, okay, so my generator info says fuel 0%. So I'm trying to remember where I'm keeping my gasoline right now. Um, it's not in the back of this truck, though it does have some metal wall shelves I should use. Is it back here? Oh, bottles of gasoline. There we go. Let's just grab all of these. I'm not sure how much each one fills up the generator, but yeah, my I might need to go and make another gas run at some point. Which actually... That should motivate... Now that the power's out, actually, a gas run will be tough unless I siphon from other vehicles. Maybe I should actually look around for vehicles that have gas in them and try to siphon some gas from those. Okay, so let's see. So one wine bottle full of gas, that's 10%. Okay, if that's the case, let's just pour all of them in. <laughs> I've got nine. So I'm going to speed up time. Hopefully no zombies sneak up on me. Just pour them all in there. 
There we go. I always move a little bit to make sure that time is reset. Then turn on the generator. Boom! Okay, so now, check this out. We've got a breakdown of what's going on with the generator, including all of our power consumption. And for instance, this says, we're powering two fridges right now. Why? Why are we powering two fridges? I'm only aware of one fridge in this house. Where is this mysterious other fridge? Okay, I've got to look around. Also, we've got 14 lights on. So I'm going to do the daddest thing in the entire world and go around and turn off all the lights in the house. So this one, I think, is already off. And luckily, I love that they let you keep up your generator info. Wait, where is the switch? There's the switch. You can keep up your generator info so that you can see, like, on an ongoing basis, what you're turning on and off. So you'll notice I did turn on some lights in my other base uh, when I was sort of showing stuff earlier on. Wait, where's where's the light switch in here? Oh, is it the lamp? It's the lamp. Okay, cool. So sometimes it's a lamp. What is in here? Okay, this... Okay, we definitely got... I think we have two lights on in here. I think we got the... Do we have the lamp? I can't tell if the lamp is on or off. But we do have this light switch. Yeah, I think this light... I think I just turned the lamp on. There we go. Lamp's off. Lights are off in here. Okay, we're down to seven lights. This bathroom has got the light turned on. Oh, Malatour says that apparently you can actually make lamps battery operated with the electrician skill. That's interesting. So, you know what I'm not seeing? Another fridge. I'm wondering if my generator is powering another house. I'm wondering if the generator is close enough to this house that it's also powering this house. If that's the case, I might want to move my generator to be further away. How did I get in here originally? There we are. Okay, let's look in this fridge. Oh, I've already cleared this fridge out. Um, but yeah, it looks it looks like the lights are on. Oh, wait, I didn't watch my lights. Did that... Yes! Okay! Okay. Okay, yeah, so Rainfall says that, yes, the, uh, the generator has got a 20-tile radius. And so at any building... So is it any building that's within range of the generator? Uh, will basically be fully powered? So let's disconnect the generator. And let's let's actually count off 20. Okay, so here's the building. We got one, two, three, four tiles here. Five, six, seven on the other side of the fence. Eight, nine, ten here by the wall. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, yeah, so if I put the generator again along this side of the building, it should miss the other building. So, Coalition is, uh, he's really broadcasting the, uh, blindfolded Jeffrey sig signal, and I'm really not sure why. I don't know what I've done. Is it, are you just talking about the fact that, th th that somebody figured out what was going on with the generator? Or was there something else that I missed? Okay, yeah, so it was for Rainfall's message. Okay, cool. So now we're turning on the generator again, and we're going to grab our generator info, and this time, one fridge and three lights. Okay, we still have three lights. Oh, exterior lights. Don't forget your exterior lights. So we got two of those. And is this one on? Nope. Okay, I've got one more light. What light am I missing? Okay, I feel like... Oh, oh, is there a light? Aha! There's a light in the laundry room. Okay, so now we've only powering the fridge. For some reason, that rounds up to 0.15 liters an hour. But basically, yeah, so, we got, so we've got the lowest... In order to preserve our food, we've got the lowest po possible 
power demands. Which means we'll be able to maintain this for a while. Some of this stuff got stale. The ice cream melted. But most of it is still fresh. And I can cook the stale stuff to make it a little bit better. So... Whoo! Okay, okay. Emergency averted. I, <laughs> I was really... I was convinced that we were switching into no power mode with this save. So, okay. So we have solved this problem short term. But we still have a problem, which is actually where? Okay, I've got like 10 empty bottles. All right, let me just drop all those empty bottles in my inventory here. Um, and actually, I'm going to grab some more empty bottles from the back of the Spiffo van because we are now dependent on gas. So if, if the generator had not worked out, if I had not found a generator for my base, then what I would have had to do was... You know, a lot of this stuff that was really sort of dependent on the fridge, things like the ice cream, would definitely go away. Um, the meat would probably rot away really, really fast. I wouldn't be able to maintain it. Um, and, and just the sheer amount of it. Like, like, some of these things last for a while. Like, you know, produce lasts for a little while. But there's so much of it, I couldn't eat it fast enough. And it was all going to go away. I was going to throw it all in the garbage. Um, or on zombie bodies. Um... By the way, somebody told me earlier on that apparently garbage cans have the ability to delete items, which is something I didn't know about. So I'm going to have to explore that at some point. So thanks for telling me, whoever told me that. Um, so what we would have done is depended on this grill uh, for cooking and just sort of been on the lookout for, you know, basically we would have made a small garden, tried to get food at a rate that we could consume it without having it go stale. Um, and then you know, try to get a lot of canned food, dried food, that sort of thing, and depend on the grill to boil our water and cook our food. And that's reasonable. That I mean, We're dependent on, on wood at that point, but wood is renewable. Actually, trees grow at a remarkable rate in this world. Like, uh, in my other game, there are entire neighborhoods that have just become forests, and it's only, like, October. Uh, but whatever. Um, it's fun watching the world get overgrown, though, so, I, so I'm not complaining. Um... So we would have done that, and that would have been fine. We would have been dependent on wood, but that's renewable. Um, now that we have averted that disaster of being dependent on wood, and now we have longer-term food supplies because we have the fridge, we're dependent on gasoline. And that's a little bit harder, because you have to either find another generator, hook it up to the gas station. Oh, actually, you know what I just realized? Let's get out of here. Because of that fire disaster that I had at my other place, first of all, I want to double-check the... The stove is off. Stove is off. Okay. Um, I don't want to keep my generator instructions here. Because I lost them in my other game. I'm going to keep my generator instructions in the safest possible place. Which is the Spiffo van. Because I'm going to avoid using this van like the plague. <laughs> this van is so beautiful and wonderful. Ooh, alcohol wipes. Why didn't, why didn't I have those already? It's so beautiful and wonderful. I'm never going to put it at risk if I can possibly help it. So that's good. That means that I've got a safe place to store the one most important magazine that I have. Oh, hey. So Malator says that with composting, you can create fertilizer. It's a carpentry recipe. What? Do, so what does fertilizer do? Does it make your food grow faster? Because I could definitely see be, that being valuable if you want to make your food, uh, sort of uh, maintain your food supplies over time. Uh, making, be able to create food faster means that you can have a smaller garden and, and, and sort of go through it at a more regular rate, which means you can sort of like basically kind of almost automate your food intake. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now, because I, I don't want, I don't want to extend this episode too much longer, but I'm going to drive around and take note of all the vehicles. I'm going to try to stop wherever I see a vehicle. Get out if there's not too many zombies. And see which vehicles have gas in them. And if I can siphon a bunch of gas right now, I'll try to do that. If I can't, I'll at least make a note of where the gas is on my map. Okay, so... I actually did not mean to get out my axe. I meant to get out my hammer. Okay, there's that zombie. Let's make sure that we're keeping all the zombies. You ought to keep the zombies on one side of you. So you got to find a place where there are not zombies and put your back to that place. And then have your front 
be facing all of the zombies. What does this guy have? He's got an axe in his back. I was just feeling anxiety about wasting my axe. And we might have a backup axe. Is that, is that an axe? It's an axe. What kind of condition is it in? Decent condition for an axe. Okay, cool. But you know what's best? We've got a couple of vehicles that are just like this pickup that I've got. Actually, let me look at my pickup real fast. I want to see the condition of my pickup because another thing that you can do, if you want to build up your mechanical skill, which I need to read a book about mechanics, um, you can maintain, you can tinker with and maintain your vehicle. So we've got some parts of this vehicle that aren't in the best shape. My front left tire, for instance, isn't doing that great. If I can get a tire, that'd be nice. Um... Otherwise, this, this, the vehicle's doing okay. The radio is something that I should probably be able to easily uninstall. And the lights are doing fine. So if I find a car with a decent tire, that'd be good. But this car is called a... Okay, it's a heavy-duty type of car. That's the thing I needed to check. So if my car is heavy-duty, that means that I need to get parts from other pickup trucks, vans, delivery trucks, that sort of thing. They're going to have compatible parts. So if I, like, open this guy up, so this car has got a little bit of gas remaining in, in, in there. Uh, its trunk lid's in better shape. And it's got one tire that's in decent shape. So this is a decent car to go after. In fact, I think I can probably, if there's no zombies around, I could probably siphon some from it right now. So the way you siphon from a car is you have something you can siphon to in your inventory. <laughs> that's the first thing you do. So let's... Do I just want to unpack all of these bottles? That seems reckless. Whatever. Um, okay, so now I'm overloaded. Oh, and I'm hungry, too. However, I have chips. I'm going to eat these chips. And I'm tired. This, this is a bad time to be out. What am I doing? Um, okay, so now that I've got a bottle... Wait, what? Is siph Why is siphoning not an option? Does that take mechanical skill? Did I misread? Oh, maybe I... Oh, it's... No, no, no. I misread it. There are two percentages next to the gas tank. One is the condition of the gas tank, and one is how full the gas tank is. Yeah, so I misread it. This 34%, that's the condition of the gas tank. This is the fullness of the gas tank, and it's at 0%. So, okay. I do not need to have my bottles in, out of my inventory. Because this one does not have gas. So, it does have parts. So this is still a valuable vehicle to have around because it's got parts that I can exchange with this vehicle and build up my mechanical skill. I don't know if I've... Let's see here. I've got a lug wrench. I don't have a jack, so I need to be on the lookout for a jack. This one just has a garbage, ca garbage bag in the back. So if I can get a jack, then I can at least swap that. And if I can get... Uh, I want to read a mechanics book first, too, so I can get the most uh, experience that I can out of it. But I can start swapping out parts from these vehicles to my vehicle. Look at this one. Okay, this one's got 0% gas tank. Let's see here. Uh, oh, so Rand of Court says, I could set up a, a vehicle as my bug-out van. Oh, that's right. You could set up the Spiffo van as my bug-out van. Put an extra generator in the back, some tools, some books... So basically, if I need to run away, I can use it. That's a good idea. This one, okay, this car has got some decent tires, which is really good. But it also does not have gas. Let's check out the taxi. It's always amazing to me, by the way, how many cars without gas are just abandoned in parking lots. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what's going on exactly. Okay, zero gas here. Okay, so there's no gas here. But I should still mark on my map that there are parts for my heavy-duty vehicle here. So I'm going to... What do we want to call that? Let's... There's a little wrench icon. Let's just put the wrench icon. Okay, so I'm going to put a wrench icon back here. All right, so we're going to keep looking. We're going to stay on our vehicle finding quest. Airy Twit says you can also use a garbage bag to create compost. Interesting. Oh, and Malator says you, the compost you produces worms, which you can use for fishing and trapping birds. Oh, that's great. Okay, so it sounds like composting is just a really good idea. I do actually have a fair amount of collected, like, rotted food in a lot of my, um, in a lot. Of, oh, wow. 
Oh, this this place is a smorgasbord. Okay. And it's got a spiffle van! It's got everything! Okay, but it also has a lot of zombies. So let's, um... Again, I want to put all the zombies on one side of me. It looks pretty clear up here. I'm going to feel a little more cavalier about my axe since I've got another one. Okay. All right. Take this, you zombies. Okay. Now and then you got to look behind you just to make sure you were right about where the zombies are. Even if you're pretty sure... Oh, wait, my character's tired! What the heck am I doing? Why am I starting a fight when I'm tired? I was like, why is my axe not as effective as usual? It's because I want to go to sleep. That's why. Okay, so this is a great place, though. I've left my engine running. So if there aren't too many zombies around... There are a lot of zombies around it. Um, and I'm a slow driver. Let's see how quickly I can make this work. Okay, okay, good. Good, 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 good. All right. So we're going to have to come back here later on. Oh, so um, Paroxicus was like, what is this place? A hospital? It says Knox Military Apartment. So it looks like this is an apartment building for soldiers at the nearby military base. Which, by the way, where's that military base? Military base sounds like a fun place to loot. Uh, probably also a place full of scary zombies. Um, so what I want to do is, let's go home. Let's end this episode. This is the generator episode and a the um, follow-up on Jeffrey's burned-down house episode. Uh, and then let's do an episode which is my quest for fuel. One where I fight zombies while awake instead of while half asleep. Rainfall says the military base is actually hidden in the woods, and it's actually kind of an adventure uh, to get to. That sounds like a fun adventure. Okay, yeah, so let's let's go to... Actually, let's, I should probably... It's, it's still a little bit early to go to sleep. So why don't we, why don't we make some stew real quick? Feed ourselves... Um, yeah, let's make some bean stew. So we'll start with some dried black beans. Give it some nice calories. But then let's try to put a bunch of our stale food in there. So what is stale? We've got some stale corn, stale ground beef. Oh, here we go. It says it here. So this, this will give us a lot of calories. But let's have a look and see what it does yeah, so my unhappiness is not actually that bad. So that's good. Okay, so let's just make a lot of... Okay, but the fact that I'm putting the same ingredient in twice isn't great for unhappiness. But okay, we're still okay. Let's put some milk in there. Because it's stale too. Let's go through the milk. Because the milk is probably going to go bad the fastest, right? Everyone knows that from real life. Uh, and then we got five ingredients to put in one more stale thing. Let's put in the corn. Okay, now my unhappiness is at plus 10 because I put... I think it's probably because I put so much stale stuff in there. So let's see. Where did I... Where am I keeping my... Here we are. Pepper and stuff like that. Okay. So let's add some pepper. That mitigates the unhappiness a little bit. And yeah, I don't think that I... Do I have any other like stuff up here that I can put in? Nope, I, I can't. Okay, so let's... let's Wait, no, let's not eat it. Let's cook it. You cook stew. You idiot. All right. We'll stick that in there. Turn it on. And then let's watch this guy cook. Oh, okay. So now we're also sucking power from the generator a little faster than usual. But only briefly. We're going to turn this off as soon as we can. Grab our stew. And then eat our stew. So this should fill me up pretty good. That eh, did okay. Um, we're going to leave it here. And then we're going to go to bed.
And then tomorrow morning, we're going to continue our quest for gasoline. All right. Well, uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> Let's just wait until my alarm wakes me up, or maybe I'll wake up a little bit early without my alarm. There we go. Okay, we've woken up, but we're going to pause the game and, uh, and and wrap this up. So, Lakota Lesson asked, do I have any long-term plans, like searching for military places, and stuff like that? I'm really not certain what my... I'm kind of playing this moment to moment because I'm... I don't... I feel like I'm just barely discovering the possibilities of this game. I don't really know what's fully what's possible in Project Zomboid. So yeah, if searching, if going on a quest to find the military base is a worthwhile thing to do, I think in order to do that, I'll have to build up a bunch of supplies and gas and stuff like that to get out to wherever it is, maybe rely on some hints from the audience. But uh, for now, all I'm just trying to do is get my base up and running. And that by itself is a big enough deal that I don't think I need another goal for a while. So I'm going to try to get gasoline in order to keep my generator up and running. And I want to get some kind of like, you know, long-term source of it, ideally. Like, I don't think there's a gasoline, uh, there's a gas station in town, but I know there is one in Southern um, uh, uh, Muldra. And so I'll probably, if I can find a second generator, I'll take a generator over to that gas station, get that up and running so I can go back periodically to get more gas. Uh, I need to find some gas cans, some empty gas cans so it's easier to transport. And then at the same time, I also want to fence in my, uh, like, like wall in my back uh, yard and use that uh, to start growing crops. So there's a bunch of stuff that I'd like to do. Um, and maybe I should read some books to start building up my skills. There's so much stuff. There's so much stuff just to keep myself alive. There's so much stuff that I don't even need <laughs> to have big, lofty ambitions beyond this. Like, just the stuff in front of me is lofty enough. So uh, if you want to keep finding out what I do, there's a subscribe button for my channel. Here's links to other videos. And the next Project Zomboid video, which I'm going to make right now live on Twitch, is going to be right there. So there you go. See you all later or now or something.